Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com, the largest search engine for wristwatches and official retailers on the net and Baselworld 2018 at Tissot. I am with the president of Tissot, François Thiebaud. Good morning, how are you? It's good morning or good afternoon, we're losing time in and, here. And in here it's, it, it's a day because we get the light, but you know, it might be the night because we don't know, we didn't go outside for many hours and yeah. we know the overnight we will lose one hour so i don't know if we are there or night but yeah. the, i'm with you so it's light in yeah let's say it's good morning but it's in the afternoon it doesn't no matter okay francois bonjour hello bonjour francois <laughs> uh, francois let me um you know it's it's uh tiso is mastering uh entry price level at an amazing quality for almost no money how important is that segment for the swiss watch industry to be there to play as strong as Tissot plays in that segment and to perform as well as you do? Uh, I will just correct it. Uh, you say en entry, I will say entry mid-price. And, and, okay, uh, and, and when you say no money, I will say uh, maybe for you no money. Uh, Almost. Because you maybe make too much money. But if you if you are making 1,000 euro per month uh, and you have to purchase a watch around three, 400 euro, it's about 25 or one third of a salary which is already something. So what do we have to do? I mean, first of all, we know that uh, the total Swiss watch industry uh, globally, I mean, last year, have uh, exported 25.4 million units out of, let's say, we estimate 1.1, 1.2 billion watches around the globe. So, uh, so what does that mean? That means that there are many, many more watches that are far, far less expensive than our watches because People in many countries worldwide can't afford even more than 50 euros. So it's very, it's very cheap. So if we are already started at 250, 300 euros, uh, let's say between 250 and 1,000 euros, it can touch a certain population. But we need also to come and offer products that are very qualitative, that effectively can provide things you, can't, you cannot have in the really entry entry price segment where you don't, will never get a sapphire glass. You might, you might get brass cases and not stainless steel cases. Uh, you will never find the quality of the movement we can offer and all the kind of the detail we can offer. Because and the accuracy of the movement, the, accu the precision. Yeah, the accuracy, and accuracy, but let's say you have also watches that uh, quartz watches are very accurate. I'm not talking about quartz watches. I'm really mm, focusing mechanical. on mechanical, um, mechanical watches and what you're doing yeah. here. And this is, for me, amazing. I know it's a lot of money, but it's amazing still. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, uh, we are lucky at Tissot. At Tissot. Why are we lucky? For, let's say, three reasons. First of all, Tissot, we have very, one of the best historical assets. We get, we, Tissot was founded in 1953. We get 165 years of experience. And always Tissot has proven originally that it was a watch focused on volume with quality, but affordable prices. And second reason, as we belong to a social group, we can <coughs> benefit of the strong industri industrial field where <coughs> we have development for medicine. And if we look at this movement, which is amazing, uh, normally an automatic movement <coughs> doesn't last more than 36 hours or 42 hours. This lasts more than three days. 80 and hours power is <coughs> 80 hours power is and then you get some in quality stuff because you get stainless steel 16L, you get sapphire glasses curved. So it's really, <coughs> we are really offering a watch that nobody can really offer at this price point. And the third reason why we are also very qualitative and can provide very good prices is because, uh, as you know, Tissot is selling more than 4 million units per year. 4 million out of 25 million Swiss experts globally. So having big purchase uh, with uh, components, Casey, uh, Dalson, we can benefit of, let's say, good purchase prices. So these are the main three reasons why Tissot can be so qualitative, so, let's say, so exclusive, and in the price range where we are, nobody can, he can come with. So we, uh, you know, you mentioned that we are kind of a, uh, wide variety and we have also system one that can really also do that because we also that's also the synergy of the social group we can you know we we have ETA that belong to the group and ETA of course uh, they can make some exclusivity for some com some companies but 
in the interim with Project Motor we are, we can certainly share our strengths together and then try to dress a watch. Because, you know, a watch has to provide the time, of course, accurate time. But you cannot change the time precision. I mean, you still have 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. But what do we have to do? We have to dress time with a clear identity. And every brand has a, their own message to deliver. Tissot has to deliver, to deliver a message that it confirming that Tissot has been innovating by tradition for many, many decades, like with the first anti-magnetic watch, first rock watch, first two timer, first tactile watch, 1999. And today is coming with the first Swissmatic watch, can offer more than 80 hours power, power reserve. And we have to remember something that when somebody is buying a watch, he becomes a permanent ambassador, and from the single minute he plays the watch on his or her wrist, becoming an ambassador, he has to be aware what does that mean, like an ambassador of a country. So he has to be aware of the historical asset of Tissot, and he has to feel proud, or she has to feel proud. And how can we make them to feel proud? Is maybe in showing that we, are, we reinvest a part of our profit into uh, activities. Uh, sponsoring activity like we do. We have so many world championships, either in MotoGP, Superbike, ice hockey, fencing, um, basketball. We also partner with NBA, and this year we'll have the third biggest world event called Asian Game in Jakarta. I mean, the first one is Olympic, second is the Football World Cup, and the third is Asian Game, not focused in Europe because it's in Asia. 45 countries are the biggest event. So, if somebody has purchased a Tissot watch, And when you see all this, and the Six Nation Rugby Tournament as well, when you see it, so, you feel proud. And something very important also to show is we can keep innovating, make new products to make people, okay, maybe this one, this year I'd like to buy that one, or deliver good words to that somebody else can buy it. So. And it's a responsibility where, in a way, we are under pressure, under pressure to keep developing, keep innovating, keep uh, offering qualitative product and provide a qualitative customer service. Let, let me also, if you're talking about innovation, mm -hmm. uh, Tissot with the T-Touch at the time being was mm -hmm. the first company to deliver such type of a watch. 1999, yeah. 1999, it was the first smartwatch. Mm -hmm. What will be the answer of Tissot, and we know because you announced it during the annual conference of Swatch Group already, mm -hmm. Tissot will have an answer with a smartwatch next year ready. So can you give us a little bit of an outlook today what yeah. this watch will do, look like, in which uh, price range it will be positioned and so on, in brief. Okay, so, so <coughs> as you know, we you just confirmed we were the first 19 years ago with the tactile technology. Uh, the, the, some mobile phone company came only eight years later, so they have been only 11 years compared to this. So, and still today, they are not as performing as we are, because on a T-Touch watch today, you can swim and get 10 atmosphere water resistant. This will not be able with your mobile phone or tablet or your computer. Then uh, we don't need to recharge every day, is we get solar energy lasts forever. So we are still far, and on top of that, we even have app that we can have several app on the same point. I have as many app on this dimension that on your mobile phone or the telephone. So, The technology we have, the, we, but we have one problem. Today, we, can, we could make a uh, connected product, but the main problem, we would be obliged to purchase operating system from outside, either from America or from Asia. And we don't want to depend on somebody. We want to be independent because Swatch Group is the biggest Swatch Group of the, biggest watch group of the world we belong to. And we have asked the CSEM, uh, top laboratory in Switzerland, to, to develop our own operating system to control our own data. So, so what we will do on the watch, we want to make a connected watch, which is not going to go into competition with what is existing. We want to provide additional functions that are useful, not useless, that can get linked with the sport we are committed, and that can even make the, the watch more dress, more beautiful. And if the day the condition will not work, the watch will remain because the watch is an emotional product. Uh, when you, you change your mobile phone, you have no emotion with it. You watch, you keep it. Because you, when you look at it, it remembers you, maybe when you bought it, or something. So we want a connected product to really remain a watch. For how long have you been developing the iOS for the wristwatch uh, 
system at uh, Swatch Group? Let's say few, 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 few months. But you know, months you have. A, let's say it's between two digit. So two digit start at ten and you go to ninety nine. So and it will be ready next year. Basel World 2019, we will have... I cross finger, we will be ready to commemorate the two decades of tactile technology with a touch. I wish, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> um, Price-wise, will you stay in the range of a T-Touch today? Yeah, we, we, we expect, I mean, today we are even more expensive with the expert. Uh, we do believe to say between around 600, 800 euro. Yeah. 600 and 800 euro? Yeah, about, yeah. Okay, yeah. and it will be only available in the T-Touch? Yeah, of course, for the time being, yes. So you are the launching brand for the new... You know, it to me, the, 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 what do you mean by launching brand? No, you, Tissot will launch that technology, the yeah. iOS. Yes. It will not be available to Swatch or to Certina or not uh, in the beginning. But at the beginning, I mean, who is leading with the tactile technology? Tissot. And don't forget, Tissot made the first tactile watch and the first collected watch. Yeah, I remember, yeah. So, it didn't so, work to, because to, it's MSN. It was working, but, but the MSN was not working. Yeah, 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 the technology we worked, were, but MSN, we Microsoft, uh, exactly, what was it called? With Microsoft. With Antenna, Microsoft. Yeah, because Microsoft they are not Antenna between the two cities. So yeah, yeah. if you are in a big city, it was working. But if you are out yeah, yeah. between the two cities, it was not working. But the watch was working. Okay. François, thank you very much. I'm very much looking forward to see that piece. So I, I'm waiting for, this, for Switzerland to give an answer. You know, in Switzerland, an answer, uh, an answer that is appropriate to the smart uh, smartwatch technology. You know, Switzerland, I mean, has made the first quartz movement, but it did not focus on that. And then it came from Asia, but the first quartz movement has been developed in Switzerland. Tissot and the, the, the Polytechnic School and everybody has been working on the tactile technology, so we are still the leader. So you know how we have now. Uh, we in Switzerland, we like to take. Maybe, you know, into the Swiss flag, you get the plus sign. So maybe the plus you can consider has been more slow, uh, more attention to detail, but and something we want, to, we want to offer plus. And we want to offer, a, let's say, a connected product that will not be, that has to be different from others, can provide something that can help you to really enjoy and you can keep forever. Thank you very much, François. Thank you. Merci François beaucoup. Thibault president of Tissot. Thanks for watching. Update also on the smartwatch technology that will come. Updates on the affordable luxury size watches below 1000 euro. We will show a variety of these watches in another video. So don't miss that video. Thank you again, Francois. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel and of course to like our videos. See you next year.